for what reason three years ago i'm like no i want to change this pattern and i'll get a dog dolce i would dress up as thor for hugo he's more of a spider-man but like yeah. the first trilogy <laughs> of spider-man so he's that guy oh, can you get one more of us can you can, can you get one more of us hi and welcome to another interesting episode of celebrity pet parents and joining us we have the gorgeous georgia hi <laughs> with her two pets hugo and dolce they are very expensive but all worth it please tell us about how both of them entered your life First uh, came Hugo uh, about three years ago. His birthday is on my same day of birthday. Oh. He came and he definitely changed my life. He's very much attached to me. And uh, then after two years, I got him. Now he's very, very naughty and um, he loves Hugo. Uh -huh. But Hugo hates him. Okay. Because Hugo is very possessive about me. So... Mm -hmm. He doesn't allow him really to come around me. But of course, I need to find some balance and try to still find some time to spend with this guy because that's why you get a dog, right? To Correct. spend time with yeah. them. But so how did their names come about? Did you name them or someone else? Actually, when I was about 16 years old, I got a dog. His name was Hugo, but he died as a puppy. I named Hugo after that dog. I was quite sore for a while, that's why. That was my only dog experience. Then after that, I'm like, no, I'm like, I'm not having a dog again. Dolce, because in Italian, Dolce means sweet. So when he came, he was so sweet. Not now, huh. but when he came, <laughs> he was very sweet, huh. right? So that's why I called him Dolce, it means meat high. And how is it having two dogs? I'm sure it's full entertainment. All day you're caught up. Full on. It's full on entertainment. <laughs> really, these guys give you a lot of love, but at the same time, they really entertain you. They, they are so much fun. And were you always a dog person? Did you know you need a dog in your life? I was more of a cat person before. Okay. My mom, she takes care of about a colony of about... 500 cats. What? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> wow. So she sterilizes them. She takes care of them. She has in her home place, she has yeah. maybe 10, 15 cats. And they're all disabled cats. So cats that nobody else would take. So she keeps them. So I've always been a cat person, but I don't know for what reason. Three years ago, I'm like, no, I want to change this pattern and I'll get a dog. And I'm really happy about it anyways because the love that a dog can give, it's something that it's amazing. It's, it's really amazing. And how did you find them? Like, what's the story behind that? I found them through some friends of mine that helped me out to get them. The love for animals runs in the family. Yeah. So are you know others in your family also equally you know, fond of animals? All of them. In my whole family is fond of animals. When I was 14, I stopped eating non-veg because I was in Italy at that time and I saw a video of a cow that was going for slaughter huh. and I was like, no, I'm not, I'm never having that. Because of course, I mean, in in Italy, that's that's a normal thing. After I turned veg, my mom turned a veg, my sister turned a veg, my dad turned a veg. So yeah, we all love animals really and um, yeah. And if you'd like to share your routine with both your dogs. So I take Hugo for long walks every day separately and Dolce separately because Dolce really pulls me and like sometimes it's like he's taking me out for a walk. So you go and you go, everybody knows in Bandra, like we walk and people are like, hey, you go. They don't even say hi to me. They just say, hey, you go, how are you? So we clean them every time they come back home because I'm a little OCD with cleanliness. 
and um, it's it's a routine and it takes time and energy for sure like having dogs is definitely a responsibility and we can't not ask you about those lovely posters this, which are very this guy is yugo <laughs> okay so how do you decide on this that you want uh, this poster because to because he's is yugo so Okay. Is Hugo quite sir. the boss? Yeah. Yeah. Hugo boss, boss right? So he's yeah. very much of a like a lord. You know, his attitude and everything is is just like so bossy and so so that's why I thought of. And have you traveled with them? Oh. See, unfortunately, you know what happens when you when you travel on a flight, it's very stressful for them. Yeah. So I would not put them under that stress unless I were to go out for but what i do i take them i make it a point that once in a month i take them out okay. like i take the take them to some pet friendly resort and um, so but there's like swimming pools for dogs and do they have their special accessories and their special toys that you of course. selected for them yeah no you know what when i buy toys for them i take them along so they go vibe wise okay. with the toy <laughs> they go to the store they go and they what, whatever they pick i'll buy they're such spoiled brats and how have they changed your life i'm sure your routine has changed entirely to look after them also definitely so in the beginning when i got you go in my life i noticed that whenever i'd go out for dinner you know i would feel like guilty that my guy is at home i would think that you know this is not cool i should go he's never alone when even when he's at home but because he's very attached to me so i used to think that yeah. i shouldn't do it but with the time i realized that i was too emotionally attached and i started training myself first and then i started training him because every time i would step out of the house he would cry like there was no tomorrow so um yeah so this has i've made it a point that we need to be emotionally <laughs> independent from one another even if it's very hard so then i thought that he should have some company so that's why i got dolce but <laughs> he didn't appreciate my my thought my idea so we see a lovely collar on him please tell yes. us about it it's the pride month and uh, we really do support it and you guys well he does as well <laughs> love is love there's no gender there's nothing we have some fun questions for you yeah about your pets yes so if you had to dress them up for a party what would you dress them up as dolce i would dress up as Thor I think yeah Thor yeah he has he has a Thor vibe he's blonde long hair especially in Thor 1 for Hugo he's more of a Spider-Man but like yeah. the first trilogy <laughs> of Spider-Man so he's that guy and if they could speak to you for a day what would they say I want to have all the food that you have dog food is so boring so give me, give us your food stop taking us to the parlor all the time they would complain about each other like yugo would complain about dolce he would say like i was the only one then why did you get dolce like i really don't know why woman so yugo would say that dolce dolce would say oh can you get one more of us can you can, can you get one more of us so that he would have some company because yugo doesn't give him any company pay us for the the content that we give you for instagram and uh, what would the perfect day in their lives be like wake up get a nice huddy go for a nice walk on the beach get dirty they love to get dirty hugo loves to swim but dolce doesn't dolce is just about food hugo is super fussy with food during the lockdown See in fish he only has a specific type of fish okay. that I couldn't find during the lockdown. Mm-hmm. So yeah, he's a very complicated child. And any message for people who are contemplating whether to adopt a pet or no? It's a big responsibility. You'll be sucked in an emotional vortex <laughs> because you love your pets like really if they were humans. True. You love them in that way. So it's an emotional vortex that you'll get <laughs> into oh. and uh, if you want a pet, you should keep in mind that that is a person. That's another person that you're taking care of. So 
not to take it lightly because that is not cool. Pets, almost like children, yeah. you know? So either you take care properly or don't. One thing that I do that I, know I shouldn't do, but I do. I fight on the streets with people. Like whenever I see a, somebody kicking a dog or a cat or doing something, like I will stop and I will literally fight with them. I hope that nobody ever does that. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> with their pets at home. Because in on the streets you can see, but within four walls you, you cannot, right? And that's not cool. Yeah, and what's worse is abandoning pets, which is also so common now. I mean, a human can love as much as a dog can love. So when you leave, when, when you abandon a dog, the worst thing. It was great having you and both your pets. Thank, thank you for you. doing thank this. Thank you so much, guys. It was so good to having you here. <laughs> Subscribe to Midday India. Get direct notifications on all our videos by clicking on the bell icon.